Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to talk about the Kramer Farrington and to know what year your Kramer Farrington is. Here we have a Kramer Farrington in front of me. This is ivory black, also came in ivory white, also came in orange, blue, red, uh, starburst, came in the Telecaster and the Strat style. So this one here is the Strat style. On the back here, we have our serial numbers that are on the neck plate. These are all made overseas. The neck plate is smaller. If it was a US made uh, Kramer, it would actually have a bigger neck plate. And to know if your neck plate matches your guitar, since it's a Farrington, it should start with an F. So to determine the year, we have FA, which is 85 to 86, FB, which is 87 to 88, and FC, which is 89 to 90. Well, this one here is an FA. Determine even if it was the earlier model between the 85 and 86, is there's no buttons, no uh, strap buttons on the end here, on this fin, or on the bottom. There's an actual pin on the bottom, just like what's in the bridge on the bottom here, and the original neck button is, or the strap button is on the neck. Later down the line, they implemented them, the metal ones right here and right down here. Also, another tall tale sign is the metal bridge instead of the bone ivory bridge. So this one actually has a metal bridge. It's an active uh, pickup. So there is a nine volt battery inside here. Um, this one here has your treble and your bass and your volume. And on certain models, they actually had sliding uh, EQ and a battery compartment where you can actually get to it a lot easier than actually reaching inside and adjusting the battery from there. What made this popular was how thin it was, the shape of it. It wasn't a great sounding guitar, but that just the overall look of the hairband look is what made it so popular. Again, when you plug this into an electric guitar and throw on some distortion, it sounds pretty good. As a regular acoustic guitar, it's not so great. But again, it's a classic, classic guitar. Um, great thing of history. Again, Kramer's no longer in business. And it's a great item to own. You can find these used on the used market, depending on how much damage it is, it can go from $100 all the way and up, it, it can go. But the average um, used market in good condition is about 400 bucks and up. Again, come with a hard shell case or there was a gig bag. Um, so the gig bag is not gonna be worth a lot of money, but the hard shell case, your average sale for just the hard shell case is about 100 bucks. Um, Again, this is the Kramer Farrington. My name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and thank you for watching.